Hello, welcome to this lesson of the AC Analysis Tutor. Uh, here we have a problem uh, where we don't have a source voltage or a current source or anything, but we have sort of a resistor network with an inductor and a capacitor, and we're asked what is the uh, impedance across A to B, so here's A and here's B, so kind of looking at the whole enchilada, what would the equivalent impedance be if the frequency that's being dri driving here is 1000 radians per second. First of all, you need to know what the frequency is some kind of way because the impedance of both of these things depends on the frequency. So if you're not given the frequency somehow, you can't do anything. So if we're given the frequency, we can see we have two guys in parallel, but then this arrangement is in series across here. So the first step, as always, is going to be find the uh, impedances of the different components. So for the inductor, Z sub L, is going to be J omega L, which is J times omega of 1,000 radians per second. And the, the uh, inductance here is 50 millihenry, so 50 times 10 to the minus 3. All right, and then I multiply these two together, and I get J, when I multiply these guys together, I get J50 ohm. So that's the impedance of the inductance. Um, again, notice it's positive and imaginary, which is what we expect out of inductors. All right. Next, we're going to find the impedance of this capacitor over here. So we'll find the impedance of the capacitor 1 over J omega C, right? 1 over J omega C. So we say 1 over J times 1,000 times the capacitance 10 microfarads minus 6. We've got to keep it in terms of farads like this. And whenever we multiply these guys together, what we're going to get is 1 over J 0.01. We multiply these guys, we get that. And again, we typically want to move the J upstairs, so what we're going to end up with 